Hi there, Mr. Sutton here bringing you the AB Calculus 310 Extra Practice Number 3 Solutions on Derivatives of Exponential Functions. For this one, we need to use the quotient rule. There's no way to really simplify this otherwise. So that's u prime v minus uv prime over v squared. And I'll use the box and ribbon to help me organize things. So my numerator, that's going to be 8x cubed plus 7. In the denominator, I've got 10 to the 3x to the 9th. And now their derivatives, which are going to be 24x squared. And this one, this is 10 to the something. I need a chain rule here. So the derivative of that would be 10 to the something ln of 10. So in this case, 10 to the 3x to the 9th ln of 10. And then I have to multiply by the derivative of this inner function. So I'm multiplying by 27x to the 8th. And now putting it all together here, I've got a, a big fraction. Up top, I have u prime v, so that's 24x squared times 10 to the 3x to the 9th, minus parentheses 8x cubed plus 7 times all of this stuff. And then uh, downstairs, I've got v squared, so that's 10 to the 3x to the 9th squared. On this problem, I'm trying to take the derivative of this product. So for that, I'm going to have to use the product rule, u prime v plus uv prime. Let me use the box and ribbon for that. So I've got my two factors. The first is e to the 5x to the 5th. And then I have sine of 4x squared. And now the derivatives, this is e to the something. It's a chain rule. Derivative of that is going to be e to the same something, so e to the 5x to the 5th, times the derivative of 5x to the 5th, which is 25x to the 4th. And then over here, I have another chain rule. This is sine of something. Derivative of that is going to be cosine of something, so cosine of 4x squared, times the derivative of 4x squared, which is 8x. All right, using the ribbon to put it all together, I've got e to the 5x to the 5th, 25x to the 4th, times sine of 4x squared, so that's all u prime v right there, plus I have e to the 5x to the 5th times all of this cosine stuff down here, uh, so that's going to be uv prime, and that should be a, a plus in there. There we go, because this is product rule, not quotient rule, so we got a plus. On this problem, I'm trying to find the derivative of e to all this craziness, so this is going to be a big chain rule. Let me start by doing uh, the derivative of the outer function. So I've got e to the something. The derivative of that is still going to be e to that same something. Now we have to multiply by the inner derivative here. So the next function in, I have something squared. Derivative of something squared is going to be 2 times the something to the first power. So 2 times 5x to the fourth minus 3. And finally, we have to multiply by the derivative of that something, the derivative of 5x to the fourth minus 3, which is going to be 20x to the third. On this problem, to find the derivative, I'm going to need to use the chain rule. Right now, I have 2 to the something. Derivative of that is going to be 2 to that something times the ln of the base, in this case, ln of 2. And then using the actual chain rule, because I haven't actually used it yet, I have to multiply by the derivative of 3x squared minus 5. So that's going to be a 6x. On this one, I'm using the chain rule to take the derivative. So right now I've got 3 to the something. Derivative of that is going to be 3 to the something, to the cosecant of x, times the ln of 3, the ln of the base. So that is all just the outer derivative. Now I have to multiply by the derivative of cosecant of x which is going to be negative cosecant of x, cotan of x. For this problem, I'm trying to take the derivative of this quotient. Now, you could use the quotient rule here, but I'm, I'm really not feeling it. Um, there's a better way. Since I have the same base, I can actually use my exponent rules to simplify this a little bit. So this can simplify to e to the 5x to the 4th minus 5x to the 5th minus 2. I subtract the exponents when I'm dividing the bases. And I mean, this is still going to be a little bit of a mess, but now it's just a chain rule versus a quotient rule. So we've got uh, the derivative of e to the something. That's going to be for the outer derivative, e to the something, which is just all that stuff still. But now we multiply by the derivative of the inner function. So derivative of 5x to the fourth, that's 20x cubed. This is going to be minus 25x to the fourth. And that should be it for our chain. For this one, I'm taking the derivative of this kind of tower e sort of function. 
Uh, so in order to do this, I have to start on the outside and work my way in with the chain rule. So I first have the derivative of e to the something. That's going to be e to the something. So uh, that's e to the e to the 2x to the third. But now I have to multiply by the derivative of e to the 2x to the third. That's another e to the something outer function. Um, so that derivative is also going to be e to the something, e to the 2x to the third. Next, I have to multiply by the derivative of 2x to the third itself, which is going to be 6x squared. To take this derivative, I need to use the chain rule and work my way in. So my outermost function is 6 to the something. Well, the derivative of that is going to be 6 to the something, which is all that stuff, times the ln of 6. So that's just the outer derivative right there. Next, I have to take the derivative of 9 to the something. That derivative is going to be 9 to the something, 9 to the 9x to the 6th in this case, times the ln of 9. Next, I have to take the derivative of 9x to the 6th, which is going to be 54x to the 5th. On this problem, I'm trying to find the derivative of this expression. So for this first term, x to times e squared, um, before you start using a product rule on this one, realize that e squared is just a constant. So x times a constant, the derivative is just going to be the constant, which is e squared in this case, minus, well, the derivative of e to the x is also e to the x, so there we are. For this problem, I just need to use a small chain rule to find the derivative. So we have the outer function e to the something, derivative of that is e to the something, e to the x squared in this case, times the derivative of the something, derivative of x squared is 2x.